hemoglobin myoglobin uh, their iron is present and oxygen transport storage and utilization not only oxygen also carbon dioxide electron transport and phagocytosis of bacteria phagocytosis of bacteria there is a uh, complicated mechanism in white blood cell <clears throat> that means leukocyte here the peroxidase enzyme is needed to form the free radicals and to kill the bacteria here so passively iron is needed for our immuno system iron absorption diet containing about 10 to 15 mg per day and these are hemoglobin and inorganic ferric iron about 10 percent of the iron is absorbed from duodenum and upper jejunum this is the important about 10 percent of iron is absorbed from duodenum and upper jejunum that means about one to two milligram absorption depend on body demand increase demand increase absorption so our body is formed in this way when our demand is increased absorption is also increased from intestine and this heme form is absorbed by facilitated division by a carrier protein inorganic inorganic iron is absorbed in ferrous form ferric form is converted to ferrous by hydrochloric and vitamin c that means the ascorbic acid and absorbs into the enterocytes so this ferric form is converted to ferrous formed by hydrochloric and vitamin c and absorbs into the enterocyte this line is very very important why this ferric form so for absorption we need the ferrous form and hydrochloric acid and vitamin c is necessary for conversion of it that means ferric form is converted to ferrous form by hydrochloric and vitamin c and absorbs into the enterocyte so when we treat a patient with a gastritis or peptic ulcer disease we give this patient anti ulcerant drugs that means proton pump inhibitor omeprazole lansoprazole rebiprazole renitidine renitidine is banded so this drug ultimately causes decreased secretion of hydrochloric acid so the manifestation is that this decreased secretion of hydrochloric acid ultimately decrease iron absorption due to decreased conversion of this ferric to ferrous so the a patient who take anti ulcerant drug for a long term must be suffer anemia and we called it iron deficiency anemia so when it enter into the enterocyte this ferrous iron again oxidized to ferric form by cereuloplasmin and then it is stored there is a ferritin binding with apoferritin from ferritin of from ferritin of, of enterocyte iron is released and reduced to form ferrous form and enters into the plasma in plasma it again oxidized to ferric form and transported binding with transferrin so in transferrin it uh, uh, iron is in ferric form from transferrin iron is released again reduced to ferrous form and incorporated into hemoglobin myoglobin or other heme enzymes or it goes to storage site where it again oxidized to ferric form and stored as a ferritin or hemosiderin so these are the cycles we see uh, there is a flow chart of iron absorption the way of iron absorption i already told you now excretion of iron daily iron loss of for adult men is 0 0.5 to 1 milligram per day extra loss for young women young women who is a many menstruating women that means every month there is a menstruation is occurs and there is loss of blood so iron is also loss so extra loss for young women is 0 0.5 to 1 milligram per day 1 milliliter menstrual blood loss equivalent to 0.5 milligram iron loss 
an extra loss in pregnancy that is 600 to 900 milligram so rote of iron excretion disquamation of epithelial cell that means mainly in the gastrointestinal tract that means every day uh, in our GI tract the epithelial tissue is shedded shedded of epithelial tissue due to there is a uh, peristalsis is occurs in our intestine so these are rapidly growing cell this epithelial cell is rapidly growing cell so the iron component that is present in this enterocyte is also shedded so this is a rot of iron excretion excretion in urine feces sweat hair and through nails so now about the factor affecting iron absorptions there are several factors that will affect iron absorption state of iron stored in the body absorption of iron increased when body iron store is depleted i already told it that means when our body demand is increased iron absorption is also increased absorption is decreased when there is adequate iron store it is known as mucosal block that means when our body need iron absorption is increased when our body don't need there is no excess amount of iron is intake or uh, excess amount of iron is absorption is occurs so this is called the mucosal block this is a very uh, defensive system of our body that means no there is no excess absorption of iron from our gi tract and it is called mucosal block now another factor is rate of erythropoiesis that means formation of red blood cell when rate of erythropoiesis is increased absorption of iron also increased even though the iron stores are ad adequate or overload the content of the diet ascorbic acid facilitate the absorption that means vitamin c containing diet increase the absorption of the iron that means lemon uh, or the food or the uh, vegetables or the fruits that containing uh, vitamin c it will increase the absorption of the iron phosphate phytates and oxalate from insoluble complex uh, inhibit absorption that means phosphate phytates and oxalate form insoluble complex inhibit absorption chemical structure of the iron ferrous form is more readily absorbed than ferric form and presence of hydrocolic helps to keep iron in ferrous form that means absorption of iron occurs mainly occurs in the ferrous form so conversion of ferric to ferrous there is needed hydrochloric acid and vitamin c so this chemical state of iron is also necessary for absorption of iron from the intestine understand now transport and storage iron is transported in plasma bound to a glycoprotein that is called transferrin each molecule of transferrin can bind two molecule of iron iron is transported as in ferric form now, iron is plasma is taken up by cells and either incorporated into him or stored as a ferritin or hemosiderin now we discussed about disorder of iron metabolism at first the common this is also a common nutritional disorder in our country that is iron deficiency anemia that is occurs due to deficiency of iron iron deficiency anemia and due to iron is necessary for synthesis of red blood cell so iron deficiency anemia when we do a complete blood count or a peripheral blood film peripheral blood film that is called pbf this is a method by which in a slide we see individually all the size shape and morphology of all the cells of blood
and when we do a peripheral blood film, 